In this lesson, we're going to take a look at how copying and pasting information from Excel into PowerPoint can not only be way faster, but error free. Let's copy this and flip over to PowerPoint. And let's paste this the normal best practices way with Alt ES to paste special as an enhanced meta file. And you can see right here, let's close that box on the side. You can see right here that we've carried over all of the ugly formatting that we don't want to have the grid lines, the blue font mixed with the black font, uh, the red comment indicator, and so on. So normally what we'd have to do then is either go back into Excel and format this part of Excel to be the way we want in an, in a presentation but that does not follow modeling convention best practices in terms of font colors. So that's an issue. Or we can duplicate it into another part of the model with all black or proper formatting. But again, that's not really a best practice. What we should do instead is flip back over into Excel, select what we want to copy and insert, go to Macabacus, under Export Excel, we can click Picture, and it automatically pastes it into PowerPoint as a picture. So now you'll notice that the grid lines are gone, all of the font is black, and this is much more presentable. But what's even more impressive is that it's linked to the data in Excel and can be easily refreshed and updated without recopying and repasting it over. We'll jump into that in the next lesson. All right, so here we've got our perfectly formatted table from Excel. Let's say we need to update one of the numbers in here. Let's flip back over to Excel. Let's go into this table and just change that from 23 to 12 and flip back to PowerPoint. We simply click the refresh button here and you can see that it updates to 12 automatically. So we've got perfect linking here and it only updates manually when we press this button, which is actually nice. So it's not just constantly changing on us. We have control over when things update. Now, if we want to dive in a little bit deeper, we can click on this icon here, which opens the manage links dialog box. And what you can see here, imagine that you have pasted in several images, you'll see a full list of links and you can go through and decide individually which ones you want to refresh or not or remove or edit so you can unlink you can actually view the source on these there are quite a lot of options for managing your links through this dialog box so this is a much more powerful way of linking between excel and powerpoint rather than just using the native linking functions that exist in microsoft all right let's see how we can link text from Excel into PowerPoint or, or into a Word document. So we have some text here in this text box and we want to link to a number from Excel. Let's flip over to Excel now. All right, here we are in Excel. Let's click on export and we can choose if we're going to PowerPoint or to Word. In this case, we're going to PowerPoint. Let's click text and you can see that that's linked up here. Now, suppose we want to update this. We've changed our view. Let's go back to Excel. So here we are. We've dramatically changed our, our outlook from quarter of a million dollars to $10,000. Let's go back to PowerPoint. Click into this, just anywhere into this text box, and then we can click refresh and it updates to $10,000. So that's a very powerful linking tool. It works in both PowerPoint and Word. Another powerful function in Macabacus is creating a dynamic table of contents. That's possible in Microsoft Word, but not possible natively in Microsoft PowerPoint. So we're going to show you how to set that up. Let's drag these content sections into their respective sections so that we can link up a table of contents. So now we've got a title page, a section, some content, another section, more content, another section, more content, etc. So this is a basic structure for a very straightforward presentation. Now let's look at how we would insert an agenda or a table of contents. So we go to table of contents, add TOC slide, and here it is. And you'll see that right away, the 
labels here correspond to the sections or the fly sheets or the tabs or whatever you want to call those slides that divide each section up and you can see that the page numbers are properly linked as well so it was instantaneous you've got a perfectly linked table of contents that flows through your presentation so this is an incredible time saver in powerpoint